Hey, uh, Jerry Wires here, and uh, welcome to Glendale today. Uh, today we're out at uh, Glendale Community College. It's uh, April 19th, and uh, we've got a large motorcycle event that I'm doing. It's called the Mayor's Big Dog Run. As you can hear behind me, the motorcycle's coming in. The whole event is, is designed and planned to uh, uh, raise money for a scholarship fund here at Glendale Community College to help our veterans. Anybody that ever served this country possibly used up their GI benefits. Uh, we want to raise money, so if they want to further their education, why wouldn't we do that? Very people that, uh, that, that uh, gave everything for us, put their life on the line, uh, if they've used their B, uh, VA benefits uh, and, and, and they, they have no opportunity to further their education, this will do that. Glendale Community College has been a good partner uh, with the city, with their veterans department here, and, uh, and, and Glendale has one of the largest uh, uh, densities of uh, veterans in the valley. So anything we can do to help our veterans out. Here's the cool part about it for me. I get to ride in this event. We're going to go out to Luke Air Force Base, ride down the runway, and uh, wind through the West Valley. We have a lot of other cities partnered with us that will have their police departments and their fire departments helping out. Uh, so nobody has a huge expense in it. Everybody's sharing a little bit. But, uh, you know, bottom line, we get to do something fun. I get to promote the city, regionalism with all the other West Valley cities. And uh, we'll finish up riding through the uh, down the ramp and inside of the Phoenix University Stadium, do a lap around the inside, and, and then uh, stop at Westgate and have barbecue. So uh, looking forward to having a great day today. We've already started. Uh, it's been a couple hours uh, since I've been out here, and the bikes are coming in pretty good right now. But uh, we're charging $20 a rider, 100% of the money is is going to uh, the Veterans Scholarship Fund. So uh, looking forward to a great day and a great ride. He's the best rider I've ever had. He always wants to go, he doesn't care where we go, and he never complains. It doesn't get any better than that. There you go, yeah, thank let's you. Start lining them up. Lunch, oh, and here's your ribbons for your bikes. It's a brotherhood, and unless you've done it, you, you really can't feel it. You know, it's, it's like when you're in the military, you put your life in your buddy's hands and his is in your hands. And uh, that's just the way of life. And, and we continue it riding our motorcycles and supporting all the organizations and the groups that have the same feelings we've had and we still have today. The purpose of the bike ride is to support the Veterans Spirit of National Service Scholarship. It's a scholarship that was started here at Glendale Community College about 2007. We probably get somewhere between 25 and 40 applications a year. It's growing. There it is. <laughs> that was good. That's we serve the largest number of veterans in the Maricopa Community College system. I think we're over 1,200 right now. Mike, there's an the alternator right on this bike. Battery. It looks like the size of a uh, Chrysler. It serves uh, a, a broad base of veterans. It doesn't discriminate by branch of service, gender, uh, what your military occupational specialty was, whether you were in the Guard, the Reserves, or Active Force, whether you were deployed to a combat theater or performed all of your service here at home. It really just honors national service. Hi, Julia. Hi. Hey, the, uh, this report is uh, something that we wanted to discuss. We have the only veteran center that's dedicated to, uh, to veterans. So it's a place to gather, to Skype, uh, and to process their paperwork. Uh, other colleges don't have that. So I think we're being known for that. We're, we're designated as a, a, a military-friendly school. Uh, we're proud of that. And uh, I think we'll continue to grow. And we'll see more, more space and, uh, and staff invested in, in, in veterans. They're coming home, and they, uh, they want to continue their education. But making that transition, as you come out, you're, you come out of a very structured environment, sometimes a very uh, stressful environment. And all of a sudden, you're, you're out here, and it's a different language. Uh, Folks here are a little more laid back. It's a very different kind of environment. I liken it to going from salt water to fresh water. Uh, and you've got to make that, you've got to make that transition. So you're in a classroom. Uh, in, in many cases, you just, you're almost adrift. You could be on your own. So having a veteran center where you can go and talk to folks who've done it before, uh, know all of the people to talk to, all of the processes, the forms, all of those kinds of things, they can help you. They can make it very, very smooth. These 35 credits right here. Once you complete these 35 credits, then you can transfer to the, any university through state school. Well, for one thing, the tuition is, 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 is reasonable. You know, we're looking at $81 a credit hour compared to three or four or five times that at uh, public universities or private institutions. So it's affordable, number one. It's accessible. Uh, you don't have to take an SAT 
test or an ACT, you come in here and take some placement t tests and you can start off and you can improve yourself and, and move right on over to the university, it's seamless. The other thing is it's a, it's a community college for a reason, it's your community. And so there's a lot of feedback from the community and you're able to tailor programs that uh, are, are, are meant for this community and, the, and the, the workforce environment that supports this community. So we're flexible. Hopefully as this thing grows, uh, other colleges pick it up and it becomes something that's uh, applicable district-wide. Uh, the mayor has been very, very gracious in supporting us, uh, the college supporting him. We've got a great partnership here in Glendale. Uh, we're the first, we're the only veteran scholarship in the Maricopa Community College system. And we want to grow it, and then we want to export it outside of Glendale. That I'm a national speaker for a veterans program called the Veterans Aid and Attendance Pension Program. So what I did is I, I dedicated the bike as memorials from World War II, Korean, Vietnam, and Desert Storm, uh, covering all areas of time in there. And it's a, it's a great display to show honor back to our veterans, covered all the branches, uh, all branches of the military, and uh, just a great way. The car is a 41 uh, Willys car replica, and it's all storage, and uh, just really enjoy doing it. Our vets are coming back and trying to get stuff, and they're not. So when we come in and we support our vets that are coming back, at least they know that they have open arms when they come back and not just being shut doors, which is happening with the government. You know, there, I think that uh, veterans, you know, a lot of them come back and uh, there's just not a lot for them. They're kind of, uh, they get out of the military and they um, can't find a job or whatever. And this is just another avenue to give them a leg up. If they, if they haven't, uh, stayed in long enough to retire and get or get GI Bill benefits they're just out there and this is a way of assisting those uh, guys and gals that get out and and are in that in between uh, and don't have an avenue and it's just one more one more avenue for them and it, it's great it's a great cause well we have to support our vets these guys uh, I tell you I can't even I wasn't in uh, the service I support them a hundred percent and I can't imagine what these guys go through and we're just, uh, we should all be thankful that they're willing to step up and uh, support their country like they do. This morning for this ride that we're doing for the veterans uh, scholarship funding, I was asked to carry the Congressional Medal of Honor flag that was presented to Sylvester S. Herrera, the uh, first Medal of Honor recipient for uh, the state of Arizona during World War II. It's quite an honor to uh, even be asked to carry this flag and I can't really explain how honored I am to be uh, given this opportunity. The sacrifice that this man gave for our country, it's, it's beyond belief that he did what he did and was able to come home. We get so many of our service members uh, today that aren't coming home. The ones that do are extremely physically injured and we also have countless more that are not physically but mentally injured and we can't forget any of them. Yeah, it, it really is. It is emotional, especially me being a veteran as well and seeing how many people that are veterans, they're not even veterans, just coming out here to, to honor our country and, and how emotional it will be and uh, how the emotions will start flowing, especially when they ride because they know they're riding for a cause and a purpose and a purpose means everything. Thank all of you for coming here to participate in the first annual ride. Hopefully this will be an annual event. Uh, but keeping in mind that all of this money is going to Glendale Community College Scholarship Fund to help veterans, to help veterans. Relying on donations and going out and talking to folks and asking them to contribute is one way of gathering money. The other way is to have some kind of an event like the mayor is uh, helping us with here. Okay, I need to hear a real loud yeah. yeah. Okay. You may know that in September, 
uh, the mayor organized and, and co-hosted here with Glendale, the Stand Up for Veterans. That was all about services. All right? This is about education, so it's kind of like the second leg on a stool. When we leave here this morning, this will be a fully escorted ride. That means you will have a lead vehicle, you will have a trail vehicle, and you will have escort vehicles for the entire route. All of the intersections that we pass through will be shut down. This, this ride will not stop. It will be continuous, every intersection. I think right now we've got about 75 controlled intersections. We've got about 65 members of the sheriff's office out here that are going to be shutting down, escort, uh, shutting down intersections for you. With that being said, this ride is going to be at or below the speed limit the entire time. If you want to do anything crazy, I'm going to politely ask you to get out of line and take off and do your own thing uh, so you don't anger some of my deputies and make them have to give you a ticket. We don't want to do that. Uh, we're going to be a safe ride. We're going to be a classy ride. And we are going to honor the military and law enforcement members that we have here today as they should be. One of the things that really uh, loved about it is that they're going to uh, go into Luke Air Force Base, drive down the flight line, and I'm sure Luke always embraces any of these type of activities. I, I know they're going to have some jets laid out there for us to drive by, which is just an incredible opportunity. Who gets to drive uh, down the flight line, uh, you know, on an Air Force Base these days? That's great. And then the second thing that really got me is we get to drive around the inside of uh, University of Phoenix Stadium. I mean. It, that's just crazy to be able to go in there and rev your pipes and have a have a great day. And then, of course, there's the barbecue afterwards. So it's a win-win for everybody.
There's going to be officers in white. They're going to actually help you out with parking them in which direction you need to go. So all the way up until these flag lines on both sides. We host bike nights here every fall and spring. We do them 24 evenings each year, and they are a ton of fun. We get anywhere from 800 to 1,500 bikes and, and spectators out to check out these incredible rides every Thursday night and it goes now through June 26th. So this Mayor's Big Dog Run is a natural tie-in for us. We love the biker community. We have a great venue and they love being able to pull their bikes in our beautiful water dance plaza and park them right in front of the fountain. I've been on that runway since the 60s, so it was, I was stationed out there, so it was great. It was awesome. It was just awesome. Brought back a lot of memories and stuff, so. Yeah, it was amazing. It was the first time I've ever done it, and I loved it. It was awesome. Ah, uh, that was, ex it was exhilarating. Uh, you know, I, I was in the military. I was in the Air Force years ago, uh, and I've been out at Luke, but, you know, out on the runway, being able to ride the bike, I think we got up probably eh, about 80, 90 miles an hour at one point. It was fun. It was a blast. It was a blast. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. The thunder of motorcycle engines in there. It was just awesome. Great time. It was such a rare opportunity to be able to ride your motorcycle down uh, the Luke Air Force Base runway and to ride through University of Phoenix Stadium where they're going to have the Super Bowl next year. Uh, we can say we rode our motorcycles through there. So it was a it was a great ride, uh, well organized and. Uh, a uh, lot of fun for those who were able to do it. I've been on a lot of rides. This was the best organized ride I've ever been on. The law enforcement in this community did a hell of a job putting this thing together. It was a great ride. And going through the stadium, oh, that was awesome too. That was great, that was great. I mean, this whole day was great. It's warm now, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it. And you guys were wanting to go down here about 140 miles an hour, I could, I could tell. Okay, uh, Mayor Wires here again with you at the conclusion of our of our ride today. Uh, incredible ride, successful, absolutely no accidents. Everything went off exactly as, as hoped. Uh, and, and so many different people involved in making this happen. Uh, an opportunity to help our veterans, a uh, scholarship fund out at Glendale Community College. Uh, uh, even Westgate here, they, they gave us uh, this, this fine young lady, and, and I gotta tell you, without her help making this thing happen, uh, I don't think that we would have been able to pull this portion of it off. So many people stepped up and, and, and realized a good cause. And what a great way to promote our city, help our veterans, and, uh, and just overall have a lot of fun. You know, I walked through the audience, uh, the audience, all the riders talked with everybody. Uh, the biggest complaint we had is that we didn't get to do a little bit more riding around PIR. But uh, overall, everybody's very, very satisfied, and everybody's saying, hey, we need to do this again next year. So, Emily, thank you so much you for, so for your involvement here as far as making this happen. Absolutely. You are so welcome. We loved being able to partner with you on this. It's been a beautiful, fun event and a great turnout. Absolutely a success. Thanks again. And, and one of the one of the great things about uh, Westgate is is they know that I come up with these ideas, and, and and I don't know if they were really too sure about me at first, and, and now they're starting to go, okay, well maybe he's got something here. So, but uh, great Absolutely. people to team with. You know, this this is uh, this is the heartbeat of Glendale right here as far as the entertainment district, and uh, they do such a fine job of making things like this available to us. So so again, thank you so much to you and, and your staff. You are so welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, other than that. Uh, I want to thank everybody for uh, for watching Glendale today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen, and uh, we're going to keep doing the things we can uh, to make people uh, uh, want to be in Glendale and participate. And uh, when you can do things like like this event today, help our veterans out, it uh, it shines a, a real bright light on Glendale and the type of people that we have. So uh, thanks again for joining today. Well, first of all, I thank them for their participation. I think supporting veterans is very, very important. We ask young men and women uh, to go in harm's way uh, to defend our way of life. Uh, kids are part of a volunteer force. Uh, they go on multiple deployments, sometimes three and four times in the combat theaters, and they come home. Uh, they're worthy of our support. So for the riders today, thank you so much for your support. 
more importantly, thank you for your service, because as you look around here, you see most of these riders are veterans themselves. These are the things that make uh, motorcycling interesting, and uh, it gives them a great opportunity to do something very, very different and cool. So to support the veterans and uh, support the mayor and Glendale and everything that he did for this, uh, it's just fantastic. Uh, I, I thank you, motorcycle riders. You're the best. Thank you.